you know, I think sometimes you hear these interviews or these podcasts and it's like, oh, these people have all this wisdom and they're just bestowing it on everybody. But it's like, it has come from some pretty dark places where you've had to go in and do a lot of really deep work. And that is a big piece of advice that I would offer is do not be afraid of those opportunities that in the heartache and in the darkness are some of the most valuable lessons. And there's so many things you've said here, like love is the fuel and this moment of, of, um, of this lady coming up to you and said, I felt like I was in church. You know, even what you were kind of saying at the start, trying to, how can you figure out to be of your highest service? It seems then that there's so much uh, paying attention to certain moments in life. Like a, it's almost like this co co-creation or co-revealing. Oh, hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. And I think, you know, one of the dangers that I see is when you're paying attention, you're not just seeing the good things. You're also seeing the things that hurt. And yeah. I think, you know, a lot of my work began because I could see the pain that was happening in children with allergies and autism and ADHD and all these things, you know, like it was born out of pain. Um, and that sensitivity and that empathy, you know, it's an incredible skill, but oh gosh, you have to learn how to manage it, you know? And so to really think about um, the ability to, to not only identify where things are, are, you know, these wonderful moments are happening, like that woman coming to me, but also these, these really the heartache and, you know, to, to, to say that what you are grateful for is the experience across that entire spectrum because of the lessons that are offered across the entire spectrum. And I would say that some of the most valuable lessons have been learned in some of the deepest heartache. Um, and I also think that's where you really learn what you are made of. You know, you don't know what you're made of as long as everything's surfing along fine, um, you yeah. learn what you're made of when you are really put to a very extreme test and challenged. And I think for a lot of people, they don't want to put themselves in that position. Um, and again, I understand like not to judge that. Um, however, if you're not, if you're not pushed to grow, it's, you know, those, those are really the growth opportunities. There's a quote by, uh, Carl Jung that says, uh, something like the, the branches of a tree can only reach to heaven if the roots go down to hell <laughs> or, you know, just this kind of, this idea of almost like the maximum expression or experience of our life. It almost seems to be intrinsically linked with, with some degree of suffering. I, and, I and totally, totally that. believe that because I think, you know, our capacity to love is directly tied to our capacity to hurt. You know, you hurt as yeah. deeply as you love. And, um, and I think, you know, to really recognize the lessons that are in that heartache, um, I think for me, you know, when those moments would happen and I would just be in this incredible pain, you know, in the tension of sort of being pushed or birthed into this next opportunity, um, I would, I remember laying awake at night, like thinking with my heart just wide open to the universe or the sky or whatever was above and, and just say, okay, okay, you know. I'm here, teach me the lesson I'm supposed to be learning. I understand that I am supposed to be learning a lesson. Please let me learn it quickly, you know, um, and to start to identify those pain points as the lesson opportunities. And then I think you would sort of, you start to reframe it a little bit and you're not intimidated by it as much. And when those pain points come, you don't immediately think, oh, I've got to numb this, you know, I've got to somehow get, a, get away from it or run from it. And I think in our society, unfortunately, um, we've been conditioned to sort of numb, you know, people numb with all kinds of different substances and all kinds of stuff. And um, instead of really saying like pain is actually a normal part of life and all of these emotions are a normal part of the human experience and they're all designed to teach you something. And I think if we were taught that at a younger age and understood that, that all of these emotions are just part of the whole human experience and we really shouldn't be labeling some good and some bad, then we can use those those emotions as teachers. Uh, I, I couldn't possibly agree more. Thanks for watching the latest clip from the What Is A Good Life podcast. My name is Mark McCartney. I'm the host of this podcast and I'm also a coach based in Berlin. Over the last two years, I've interviewed over 150 people around this question and I've distilled these findings, anecdotes and experiences into both corporate workshops and one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. If you're a corporate looking to book a workshop for your next event or you're a working professional in need of finding answers to some of the bigger questions in life, please direct message me below for a free 30-minute consultation.